Hey there folks, it's Elliot. Today we're tackling a question that has been buzzing around for a while. How can you remove an iCloud activation lock without an Apple ID? It sounds like a tough nut to crack, right? We've all been there. You get a new iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch, and you're met with the dreaded device lock to owner message. Several methods, tools, and services have been offered over the internet promising to solve this problem. Some are legit, some aren't, and quite a few carry a hefty price tag. Let's be clear, they might do the trick, but why shell out your hard-earned cash or risk your device's safety when there's a safer, faster, and completely free alternative? Stick with me, folks. In this video, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to legally get rid of that pesky iCloud activation lock. So let's jump into it. Keep in mind that this information should only be used responsibly. It's meant to help people who own their devices but have forgotten their login details. We do not support illegal activity like unlocking stolen devices. Follow the law and respect the rights of others. Our video follows YouTube's guidelines and community standards. Now let's get started. Many services claim to help with iCloud unlocking, and I know how confusing it can be to choose the right one. Some options include Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app, Safe Unlocks, Lock to Owner, and iUnlock app. Now, a buddy of mine recently got caught up in this activation lock situation. He'd picked up this sleek iPhone at a second-hand shop, but realized it was iCloud locked. Imagine his frustration. But then he stumbled upon Safe Unlocks. It was a breeze, and he unlocked his phone without hassle. For educational purposes, we're going to dig deep into that. Then you've also got iUnlock app. Another solid choice for getting rid of that annoying iPhone lock to owner message. Quite a few folks I know have had smooth sailing using iUnlock app. Then there's Unlock, here's AI powered unlocking web app. It's like having your very own tech whiz working through the problem. It's super straightforward and efficient, not to mention it's AI powered. How cool is that? Last but not least, we've got Lock to Owner. It's like the new kid on the block, but don't let that fool you. They're quite the contender when it comes to iCloud unlock services. Each of these services has strengths, and it's all about finding what works best for your situation. Remember, we're just sharing information here. All right, now that we've laid out your options, let's take a closer look at how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant in the next step. Stay tuned for that. Knowing that our unlock services work primarily in first world countries is essential. We have an alternative if you can't use these services or prefer not to. Each week, we give out 250 free unlocks to viewers of our videos. To qualify, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, comment with your device model, for example, Samsung S9, IMEI, and Country. You'll be automatically entered into the giveaway as soon as you complete these steps. This is a straightforward way to participate, so please follow the instructions carefully before entering. All right, let's dive into the first method to unlock your iCloud activation lock. Start by opening your browser on your phone or computer and head over to unlockhere.com. This smart AI assistant powered web app is going to help us out. Once you're there, you'll see a friendly AI bot named Nifty. Let Nifty know you want to unlock your iCloud by hitting the activation lock button. Next, you gotta let Nifty know what device you're using. For this tutorial, we're going with iPhone, but remember, this works just as well for iPads and Apple Watches. Next up, you'll need to enter your IMEI, or serial number. If you're a bit confused about this, let me break it down for you. iPhones will have an IMEI. If your iPad or Apple Watch has a SIM card slot, it'll also have an IMEI. But if your device doesn't have a SIM card slot, you'll need to enter the serial number instead. To find these numbers, go ahead and press the sleep button on your locked device. Press it once more and tap the little I on the bottom right of your screen. Your device info should pop right up. Once we've done that, we're moving on to the next step, where you'll input your device information. Don't skip this step, folks. After that, you'll need to enter some basic information to link the order to your account. Make sure it's legit information so that you can receive your order confirmation. Once you've checked that you've agreed to the terms and made sure you're not unlocking a stolen device, solve the quick little captcha to prove you're not a robot and hit start process. Now keep an eye on your email because you will receive a confirmation code. Don't forget to check your spam or junk folder if you can't find it. Grab that confirmation code from your email and return to the Unlock Here website. Enter the code, do a quick CAPTCHA check again to prove you're still human, and that's it. Your unlock process has started and your device will be unlocked. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. 
We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now, go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. So there you have it. One quick and easy way to handle your iCloud activation lock. But hang on, we're not done just yet. We have other methods for those who'd like more options. So stick around. All right, guys, let's dive into some more ways to legally remove the iCloud activation lock without needing the Apple ID. We're only talking about legitimate options here. So if you're looking for dodgy hacks, you're in the wrong place. First up, you can contact Apple support. If you can provide the documentation to prove that you're the legit owner of the iCloud account, Apple will help you remove the activation lock. But remember, it's always a good idea to have your purchase receipt handy. Another option is to visit an Apple store. They'll ask you for evidence to validate that you're indeed the owner of the device. Once they're convinced, they'll assist you in removing the lock. These are just a few tactics to help you combat this issue. Thanks for sticking with us till the end. Happy unlocking, folks.